Jessica Weathington McLean, I have the great honor of being the executive director for Council Member Jose Wizar's Bringing Back Broadway, which is what we are here today to celebrate. Thanks. So the council member will speak to you about his amazing success with Bringing Back Broadway these last six years. Uh, but first, I get the, uh, the, the, the grateful task of saying thank you to the people that made this free event happen today. It doesn't happen by magic. There's no magic wand event produce, producing wand. Jessica Hensier from Los Angeles Streetcar and Gil Gonzalez from Charles Dunn have been sort of the co-producers for this event. They made everything work logistically. Ariana Gomez from the fashion bid, Adrian Fine from the conservancy, Ari Simon from the historic bid, April Ruabaro, one of our great volunteers, also a co-producer. And I have to, vol I have to compliment, how, how many of you love the look of this event? Looks good, eh? Day on Broadway, looking good. The, guy from, the guys from We Are Giants, who have a business on Broadway, are partners with us here, and they made it look as good as we do today, so thank you for that. Thank you to the docents at the Los Angeles Theater Foundation, Historic Theater Foundation, who will be helping you to understand the great history in our theaters today, uh, and from the Los Angeles Conservancy, who will be uh, docenting or, or guiding the guided tours. Ed Kelsey from the League of Historic American Theaters that will share with you some of his amazing knowledge about these theaters today at the Theater Talks. I want to thank Ace Hotel right across the street for being a partner with Bringing Back Broadway and for helping bring back Broadway. And I uh, also need to recognize all of the theaters that are open today, all of our theater owners and the theater general managers and the theater security and the theater staff that have worked together so that you can all go in there and see these theaters all on one day. And we're very pleased about that. I need to recognize our business improvement districts that are out here today keeping things clean, keeping the things safe. You'll see bike patrols, guys on, on uh, bikes with t-shirts, helping you, directing you, helping you have a great day on Broadway. The Fashion District bid, the historic downtown Los Angeles Business Improvement District, and the downtown Center Business Improvement District have all been great partners in this event, and we could not have done it without everybody I just named. And the danger in starting to name people is that you forget someone. So I want to thank my colleagues from Council District 14 who are out here today, and John Hennessy from Race LA. <laughs> Escott Norton and Tony Shane are other members of our committee. If you're interested in volunteering for Bringing Back Broadway, we'd love to have you too and you can help us do this the next time. With that, I have the great, great honor of representing the man of the hour, the man who said to me in 2007, we need an initiative to help Broadway become a better street because it's one of our most important streets in the city and I need to leave my mark on the city by bringing back Broadway. We launched it in 2008. Three days from now, we will celebrate our sixth anniversary, which is why we are here. Los Angeles City Council member, Jose Wizar. <laughs> Well, good morning, Broadway! Good morning, downtown LA! Now, for how many people here, and I don't think there's many, but I just I was curious as I was standing there, for how many people is this your first time in downtown LA in more than five years, or never? Okay, a lot of people do know downtown LA now, but some people are re-exploring downtown LA, and you know, we have a rich history here, and that's what this is all about. Nowhere in this country can you find so many historic theaters on one commercial corridor as we can here on Broadway. We, we have between 10 and 12 historic theaters, and I think this is the first time in many, many years where they're all going to be open today for the public to go in and see them. That's huge. And I would give a huge thank you before we go on to everyone who helped uh, put this together, but particularly my executive director for Bringing Back Broadway, Jessica Wellington-McClain. Thank you so much, Jessica. 
And you know, about 10 years ago, when there was a lot of talk about the, the revitalization of downtown, we noticed that this beautiful historic corridor wasn't getting any attention or any love. So we put this initiative together with the idea of opening up more of these beautiful theaters, get more businesses and foot traffic on the street, dust off these beautiful buildings that have such wonderful architecture. Like you see the United Arts Theater, when you would drive by here before, you just drive right by it. But now as they've dusted off the outside and you see the beautiful architecture, there are hundreds of these types of buildings on Broadway. We wanted to do something to get this street back alive because after all, this was once one of the most important streets in the city of LA. This is where everyone got together to do their shopping, to be entertained. When the Dodgers won the World Series, they had their ticker tape parade here. All that great history happened here on Broadway and we wanted to get back to life. So what have we done? We worked with the theater owners to bring them back to life. We got a design, some design guidelines so that when we get more of these businesses open, that they have the old historic neon lights, such as Ross, the new Ross that came in has that kind of blade sign that comes on that reminds of this historic days when all those signs were all over Broadway. We also have a streetscape plan. Get this, this coming Monday, we're gonna start on it. It's expanding sidewalks putting more benches and trees and ways for more pedestrians to take over beautiful Broadway. It's called a road diet where we are prioritizing people over cars. And I think that's gonna be a great thing for Broadway for more people to stroll, get to see the street. And uh, that starting Monday is gonna be a few, few months of construction. We also have what I called once called the cherry on top to this whole initiative but now I'm realizing it's gonna drive a lot of this revitalization and that is the streetcar that we've been working on. That's gonna roam the streets of downtown LA once again. We have about $294 million to operate the streetcar for 30 years. We have about $60 million in construction. We're going to Washington DC once again in March to get the rest of the money for construction. So we're on our way. The environmental review process is gonna be finished sometime in the next few months. So I'm really, really excited about that. And we've also have uh, some grants that we're providing to some of the street building owners to light up their buildings and make them come out and show out the beautiful architecture. Our first phase of that, which is about $750,000, are going to be awarded in the next month. So there's lots of things happening on Broadway. But you know what? What really makes Broadway are events like today. When people come down and explore it and get to know more about it. So I'm really excited about this day on Broadway, so we're excited to get this on the road and to get the race going and to explore all these areas. So thank you so much. And before I end and finish, I want to kick off my day on Broadway by taking a picture of as many people as I can see here and and, and tweet. So let's see, I'm gonna take this one here. I hope nobody's running from the law or anything because uh, we're gonna catch you here and you're gonna be on Twitter with my 4,500 closest friends on Twitter. So here we go, how about like this? And I'm gonna tweet this right now. All right. All right, let's see, let's see. How do I tweet this? I go, somebody help me. I go to the Hashtag day on Broadway. Okay, hashtag day on Broadway. So anybody who wants to tweet today about their events on, on Broadway, you can do hashtag. Hashtag, hash, hashtag, day, that's my Spanglish, everyone. Day on Broadway. There you go, day on Broadway. There you go, all right, send. And anybody who's on your Twitter can also retweet that. I'm at, at Jose, Weezer. at Jose Weezer. That's my last name, right, Weezer? <laughs> and we're DTLA underscore Broadway. All right, there you go. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, and thanks for coming out. So again, if you are pre-registered for a tour, please go to that tour. For those of you that are registered for the, thor for the tour that goes from 2nd to 7th, it will now begin at the Million Dollar Theater at 3rd Street, not 2nd Street. So please go there. We'll have somebody in case you forget. But go to 3rd Street, it'll be a lot quicker. If you're not pre-registered, enjoy the day in the theaters, and welcome to Day on Broadway. Thank you.